Welcome speculators. So one of the little companies I watch is Reservoir Minerals. They're uh, an explorer looking in Serbia for copper and gold and they made a really sweet discovery in the past. They First they got a deal with Freeport McMoran to put up the money to drill this prospect and they drilled it and they hit these big copper gold intersections and so move forward a couple years worth of results um, we're watching the results still come through and waiting to see if Freeport will buy out this little company to go build the project someday or keep working on it to make up their mind. So right now Freeport has budgeted some money towards this project. I think it's like $19 million for 2015. And I believe that's the only uh, basically exploration, you know, green field, I guess you could call it, uh, exploration in Freeport's budget this year. Like they aren't looking at any other projects and spending any amounts of money that I know of. This is the the money that they're spending on exploration. They're spending it on Reservoir Minerals property. So that says a lot about this project. And if you look at the results, you'll see why. Um, previous results have been spectacular and some more results out today or yesterday look spectacular too. So looking at these drill results, um, they got some some big intersections with nice grades of copper, you know, 10 and 15 percent kinds of grades of copper, over you know 100 meters or 180 meters. These big long intersections of high grade stuff is really hard to compete with high grade in size anywhere in any kind of project. I mean this this is where you get economies of scale and you attract the super majors to come after these kinds of projects. So that's that's sweet. That's a hats off to you right there reservoir minerals it's awesome to see um, but now what's going to move the share price because we've seen these kinds of results come out of this company in the past and uh, so we're looking for some step outs around the area that doubles or triples or something the size of what they've already found and so looking at today's results and the whole the whole numbers and they also put up an update of all the you know they talk about each hole and they put an update on uh, a whole bunch of the holes and, that are happening. Um, this this program's drill, this drill program that's happening now. Some of them they're awaiting assays. Um, others are wedging and process of drilling. Others they're twinning holes. And so, how do you make sense of all this? Well, one of the ways geologists describe these holes is they create maps. And so this is one of the maps that Reservoir has created. It's a cartoon of where these holes are being drilled. This is looking from the surface down at the ground. And this brown part theoretically transposing um, uh, what they believe to be a porphyry at depth. And then this red pinky stuff to be the chute, like the high grade chute. This is what they first found that is uh, concentrated um, like hair growing off the head of, a, of the deposit. This, is, this would be one of the hairs or hopefully one of many but the, this is the one that they found and that chute goes from something like 200 meters below surface on down to you know 900 or 1000 meters below surface where this porphyry starts to happen. That's theoretically the source rock of this higher grade copper gold feeder that they hit. And so this, this horseshoe shaped looking thing has all these dots around it. These dots are the drill holes and they've got numbers on them. And they're trying to drill into this high grade thing to test it. And some are drilling deeper and trying to hit this, this uh, porphyry at depth and learning about the size and grades and continuity of that thing. And so these green holes are recent holes. Uh, this map says holes that are uh, drilling in progress, 2015 holes. And so if we look at these maps and numbers and compare them to this news release they just put out, we can start to see what some of these holes are doing. So this target area, if I kind of highlight this area here, these holes tend to run into the high grade stuff and the others don't. So if we found more high grade stuff outside of that, theoretically it could improve the, the value of this deposit. And so this hole up here would be outside of that. What are they doing there and what's going on? This is this ends in 60 and 60A. So if we go back to the news release and we look up blah, 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 60 and 60A, 
um, awaiting evaluation assays and then this wedge this is one that's still drilling so that one's still going so we don't have the news on that that news is coming um, this one out here maybe they're trying to find the edge of the the porphyry or something this one ends in 63 and 66 so let's see what those holes are saying 63 is saying terminated due to technical problems so that that sucks that would have been nice to see results out there that's like frontier that hasn't been drilled yet 66 is a twin hole of the one that failed so they're working on that one um, but in the heart of this this uh, 65 68 um, let's see what's going on where they drill in between a bunch of the others they've already drilled 65 waiting assays 68 is in progress so we're still waiting on that this one is uh, um, 53, 61, and a, a bunch of others. Let's see if we can figure that one out. Because I believe that's what we just got today. So if we look at the numbers we got today, no, maybe not. 52 is the, the one that just came in today. That's the sweet looking one. So let's see if we can find that one on the map. The 52 is uh, right here. Um, and it's a twin hole of the, the 51. It's This hole's already been drilled. They're drilling another one right next to it that is, and they're using the rock to confirm continuity in the, the metallurgy of the thing. So they're trying to figure out if their testing is real and if that's just a, a freak of nature. If you move over one foot or one meter or something to the side, you can get the same stuff. And by looking at the results, it looks like they get really good stuff um, so we're not really learning new information from this it's confirming old information um, this 55 let's see what what they say about that they say it's an infill hole um, tested to the northeast of the extension so the 55 to the northeast um, I should know where they're talking here we go 55 yeah it's just it's inside pretty much where they've been drilling so that's why they call it infill hole um, so it's not like mind-blowing information that's coming out of this that's gonna pop the top off the stock but it's nice to see those kinds of results those are beautiful results the kinds of grades that they they just posted and one that's definitely worth keeping an eye on um, you've got a sweet partner paying the bills to look at it, what's a sweet find and expand on that thing so that's Reservoir Minerals, and uh, also there's this other other map you might be interested in. This one I found on their website has the has results next to the drill hole, so you can kind of see the picture of the higher grade envelope stuff is over here. You know, 11%, 3%, 10%, 7% stuff seems to be in this area, and then the, the point something percent seems to be a lot of these other areas that are going into the actual porphyry but look at the size of these intersections like 700 meters of 0.9 percent in spectacular size uh, continuous rock that should be dug up and mined someday um, so we'll keep watching this and a place that I've, I've seen that it's fun to watch this is if you go to prosperousadventure.com my website there's a link under the Reservoir Mineral stuff to the to the uh, live chat, which is happening on CEO.ca, their chat. Um, and there is a conference going on in Vancouver right now, put on by the Sprott guys, um, mainly run by Rick Rule. And they're talking up Reservoir Minerals and this drill result that came through. And this CEO.ca website has people at the conference that are reporting what's being said at the conference pretty much live and one of the latest comments on there was someone by the name of James using a blue dot says spectacular drill hole yesterday one of the top 20 Rick has seen in his career he's reporting back from the conference live so this is an interesting way to see what's going on in our sector tailored specifically to reservoir minerals it's got reservoir mineral symbol in there and uh, so what everyone's saying about reservoir minerals, these guys dig it up 
and they post it on this website so you can get an aggregated feed of what's being said out there about this one and this news release and and even at conferences that are happening um, so just a, a neat tool uh, to look at that you can access any of these companies I'm following by doing this at, at uh, prosperousadventure.com if you're interested in more updates from me please feel free to subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel and or leave comments below. Thanks for listening.